Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's presentation, to today's lesson, today's podcast. It's going to be amazing. We're talking about yoga and especially the brain and body benefits of yoga. Okay, so it's going to be very interesting, very useful. If you like health, if you like uh, anything that's related to you know wellness and uh, exercise and even mindfulness, all of this, then this is going to be a great lesson for you. You're going to learn a lot. You know, it's best for advanced speakers. So if you're a beginner, then it might be a little bit hard, but, you know, I try to make it, you know, for everyone. So everyone, even native speakers can learn something here. It's going to be amazing. You know, uh, the last thing is if you want to join the classes, if you're listening to the podcast, send me a message right now because I have classes. I teach people from all over the world online on Zoom, you can join the classes and practice all of these uh, expressions, you know, so very dynamic, you know, very fast paced, very communicative. So you're going to do a lot of speaking, not just learning and not just a lecture, you know, I don't just speak in class. This is why I make these presentations, because this is where I do my my speaking. And in class, you do the speaking, and then I help you perfect your English. Okay, because the only way you can learn to speak English is if you speak English, you know, live, okay, and get corrections. Okay, so very good. You can find me on, on Instagram, David Alexander Cantu. You can find me on TikTok, David Alexander Cantu, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. You know, you can find all of my channels there, you know, so it's absolutely fantastic. All right, everyone. So we're going to talk about what is the philosophy of yoga. You know, the basic philosophy of yoga. So if you know anything about yoga, you're going to share that. Okay. So basically people talk about meditation, that yoga is about finding harmony, about, you know, controlling your breath, right? So it's kind of like meditation with movement. It's about opening everything up, about creating, you know, a healthy body and a healthy mind, you know, and really you know, uh, releasing a lot of the blocks that we have, you know, from our, from our daily life, you know, all the stress that we carry with our, carry with ourselves, you know. Um, so yoga kind of the, the basic philosophy of yoga is that it uh, helps you, you know, deal with all of these things, right? Not just things in your body, you know, like tight muscles or injuries, but also things in your mind, right? So, you know, how do you practice yoga? So if you practice yoga, you know, you're going to share it with your partner. Maybe you do it in a, in a class. Maybe you take classes or maybe you practice independently. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that, you know, they guide you through the yoga practice. Okay. And how did you get into yoga? So the when you get into something, get into yoga, get into um, paragliding, get into basketball, that means you start practicing it. So how did you get into yoga? What made you interested to, you know, in it? What made you interested to try it? And how has it impacted your life? Okay, that's the other questions. If you do yoga, if you don't practice yoga, have you ever tried or thought about doing it? Do you find it interesting? So, you know, a lot of people are attracted to it. So why do you think people are attracted to it? Okay. And uh, also there are some things that you might research before you start doing it. What are those things? Okay. And the last thing is mindfulness. Do you do any activities which help you practice mindfulness? So I'm going to go over this term. So when you are mindful, as the, as the word suggests, your mind is full. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you are in the present, right? You, instead of just being like super busy and thinking about other things and being distracted, you are fully focused and you are in the moment. Okay. So you connect with your consciousness. You could connect with your inner self. You know, what's happening. You are awake. You have no high level of awareness. Okay, so do you practice mindfulness? And if you practice mindfulness, how do you do that? 
Okay, so here are some vocabulary words. Okay, when you take something up, you you start doing it. Okay, so you um, you know yeah. So for example, you know um, my friend, my friend here. Let's see. Oh, sorry, let me just fix this right here. So you, you could say after my friend told me how she loved yoga, I decided to take it up. Okay. So take it up means start doing it. You know, when you flush something out, you flush out means you get rid of it. Okay. You don't have, you had it, but then you flush it out, meaning it's gone. For example, some people say that yoga flushes out toxins from your body, but many health experts disagree with this and say it isn't true. Okay, so flushes out. So for example, if you go to the to the sauna, you know, the heat makes you sweat and then you flush out the toxins, all these metals, they are gone. You know, they leave your body. Suffer from. If you suffer from something, you you have pain. You experience pain. Okay, so Dan suffers from back pain, but he says that yoga really helps relieve the pain. Mm, okay. To yank, okay, to yank something right here. It's like to pull something, you know, but pull it very quickly, very violently. My yoga mat was stuck in my bag and I had to really yank it to get it out. Yank it to pull very, you know, very quickly, very strong with a strong force and to strain something, okay? And, uh, it means kind of to overstretch a muscle. So for example, if you don't stretch before exercising, you're more likely to strain something in your body, right? You can strain it. So always warm up, always stretch before, always warm up before doing heavy exercise. Okay, so more technical terms here. If you're interested in uh, medicine or you know psychology, these will be good. So inflammation, okay, it's, um, you know, it's when your body reacts to an injury or to an infection, it becomes bigger, like all the blood makes that part of the body swell or bigger, it makes it bigger, that's inflammation. For example, Chris had some inflammation on his skin due to an allergic reaction, okay, so inflammation. So the skin becomes, you know, red and swollen and full of blood or, you know, just thicker. That's inflammation. Self-esteem is how you think about yourself. Okay. Your self-confidence, your self-respect. My friend has low self-esteem due to a traumatic experience during childhood. Okay. So people say this, that yoga helps with self-esteem. Some people, a lot of things can help you with self-esteem, having good friends, having a good job, doing the things that you love, right. Even sleep and, um, you know, some, some things like that really help with self-esteem. It's very important. Self-esteem is very, very important in business. Of course, you know, you have to have self-esteem to be confident. And then if you're confident, then people say that you'll do better, you know, in your job. Okay. So there's a lot of, um, there are a lot of things here. Okay. That have to, that contribute to it. And anxiety is if you, feel like stress, right? Okay. You're, you're stressed, you're nervous, you know, you worry a lot. So my son participates in very dangerous sports, which gives me great anxiety. Okay. So the, this person, you know, because the son does uh, practices, dangerous sports, extreme sports, well, this person is very stressed. Okay. And so, yeah, anxiety. All right. So we're going to continue here. So these are some, um, you know, some sentences that are connected to the topic. So meditation. Okay. So meditation, right? It's like when you're, when you work on your mind, you still your mind, you focus on your mind, you focus on the breathing, you don't do other things, right? You just sit and you are with yourself. So meditation one of the yoga's benefits is doing meditation, but you can change meditation to become an adjective. 
for example, yoga's meditative qualities can be beneficial. So there are some physical qualities and meditative qualities, right? Next one, participate. Experts are searching for people to participate in a study, right? To participate, to become part of, you know, to do that. Well, okay, experts are searching for participants, right? So people that participate are participants, okay? Yoga, when you're talking about the physical aspect, there's a, right, the, medita the meditative aspect, but the, there's a physical aspect, and uh, it makes you more flexible, okay? But you can also say, you can also change flexible to flexibility. I love yoga because it increases your flexibility, okay? Now, the next one, okay, for your muscles, right? Your muscles do the work. You have a lot of muscles in your body. What does it mean if they are loose? Loose, the opposite of tight. Tight is it, you can't move a lot, very tense, loose is they're relaxed okay so they feel flexible and easy to move okay that's loose all right okay so here are some uh you know advanced body you know uh terms that we're going to go over in the video in the scientific video about yoga so the colon colon is uh part of the digestive system, kind of like a part of the stomach, the, the last part of the stomach, right? Right, um, you know, kind of where, where you release the waste. Okay, so the colon is the, you know, yeah, where, you know, where you go, uh, you know, like you buy the butt, the butt, okay? So the colon. Hamstring is the back part of your leg. So the front part of the quads, quadriceps, the hamstrings are the back part of your leg. Okay, the hip is the bone, okay, right here on the top, uh, below your stomach and, uh, you know, over your legs, you know, on top of your legs, right? That's the hip. And oxytocin right here. Oxytocin is a chemical that your brain uh, releases when it's happy. Right, when it's oxytocin, it's a chemical. Okay, so we're going to talk about stress. What are the common or the main causes of stress these days? And sports. What sports do you do? And do they have mental health benefits? Okay, so also we're going to watch this video. If you're part of the program, you will watch this video. Okay, and so we're going to talk about uh, some women. They did Hatha yoga for 16 weeks, it's a type of yoga. What happened to them? Okay. Also, the US Department of Health, it's a part of the government. They recommend a certain number of hours of exercise per week. How many? Okay. And also in the video, they will talk about some benefits of doing yoga. So if you are part of my program, watch the video. Okay. So this this lesson right here, the podcast prepares you for the video. It's like that when you watch the video, you will know what they're talking about. Okay, perfect. All right. So here, a lot of exercises, you know, based on the vocabulary that I already taught you. Okay. So we'll talk about toxins. Okay. We we'll talk about back pain. So a lot of Americans experience back pain. Okay. And uh, now yoga, does it cause harmful inflammation or does it relieve harmful you know, inflammation? So all of these things we're going to cover in the video, okay? And also a good word is to boost. So I talked about oxytocin, that's a hormone, right? It's a chemical. So yoga can boost levels of hormones to make you feel good, okay? So they're gonna talk about that in the video. So you definitely want to wait uh, to uh, to watch the video, okay? So, and here we have a, a lot of exercises that you can do. We're not going to do all of them in class, but I definitely recommend that you do them, you know, before or after class if you are interested in this, okay? It's related to health, and you can use this vocabulary in business, of course, and in your daily life. So it's not just about yoga, you know, the the vocabulary, you use it in everything.
Okay. And here, a little bit of grammar. So we do a, we call it correlative comparison. Okay. So it's the more you practice yoga, the more flexible you are. Okay. So the more, and then subject to verb, the more you practice or the more you speak English, the more, co the more confident you become. Okay. The more you study. Okay. Languages, the, the more, you know, the smarter you become. Okay. Or the less, uh, less nervous you get when speaking. That's why, you know, it's very important. So the more relaxed your mind is, the easier it is to focus. The more relaxed my mind is, the easier it is to focus on my work. Okay. So we have, that's the, the, the vocab, the grammar, sorry. That's how you, you can work on the grammar in there. And, uh, and then you can do these uh, sentences. Okay. So the more relaxed my mind is, the easier it is to focus on my work. The earlier I wake up, the more time I have to do yoga in the morning. Okay. The more I do yoga. Okay. The, the more connected I become to my inner self. Okay. So the more alcohol I drink the night before yoga class, the, you know, the worse I feel the next day. Okay. So something like that. Okay. So we're going to talk a lot about these things in class. I'm not going to go through everything because I just wanted to give you the information, but you're going to talk about in the conversations, we're going to talk about, you know, uh, suffering from back pain. You can talk about the kind of the, you know, injuries that you've had. Okay. Are you a flexible person? Okay. So, you know, talk about the, how flexible you are in your body, but maybe also your, your mind. Have you ever taken up? So the preposition right here is up, taken up a hobby. Okay. Also, we're going to talk about anxiety and uh, relieve stress and improving your mental health. So what are some other ways to reduce anxiety and improve your mental health? Okay. And also uh, making friends, right? So, so some people, they join, they do yoga and they make friends. Have you ever made a good friend through a sport? Okay. And, uh, you know, generally speaking, would you say that having the same sports interests is an important part of a friendship? That means if you, if you do the same sport, you know, that's a, an important part of, uh, or an important quality you know, when you're talking about your friends. Okay. So oh, I think we're, we covered almost everything. Okay. Our hobbies, our sports, our activities. Okay. The benefits of doing yoga. Okay. Um, regular exercise. Okay. Injuries. Perfect. Okay. And then maybe we're going to practice our, the grammar, the correlative, you know, and questions. What questions would you ask? a yoga instructor, you know, if you, if you were to join a yoga class. Okay. So it's going to be very interesting guys. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, lesson, you know, that's prepared for you. Okay. So join us for this lesson. And uh, if you have any questions, write them down and bring them to class. Okay. I will see you in class, everyone. Bye-bye.